when I went blind, it was like my world came to an end. I used to be this top college athlete. I was a pitcher for my college baseball team, recruited by Major League Baseball scouts, and then all of a sudden, I couldn't even find my way to the baseball diamond on my own. My life was full of so many challenges. Every day was an obstacle. Just getting out of bed in the morning, not knowing what to do, couldn't even barely get out of my own way. And then I met my wife, Lauren. And since then, she has made sure that my life has been full of all these great and positive experiences. She's opened up my world once more. And the best part I would probably say is that she's made sure that my life has been full of some many near-death experiences. So when I first met Aaron, I realized being with a blind guy is gonna be a lot of responsibility. So, I told him I was a supermodel. So just my luck, I finally get to hook up with a supermodel and I can't even see her. So I thought, this could be a lot of fun being with a blind guy. And our parents were worried, I was a little worried because I'm really active, so we weren't sure how this was gonna work being with Aaron. But I just started telling him we were gonna be going skiing or doing this or that, crazy adventures, and he was like, okay, and started following me along on these adventures. Hey, we all knew Lauren was the best thing for Aaron. After all, we're like a family at Blind River Studios. So after we invited her in, I sat her down and said, you know what? I like to get extremely loose and comfortable. So you're going to see me wearing my muumuu. But just one thing, if you plan on wearing a dress, make sure it's not better than mine. I never wanted Aaron to feel like he was left out or couldn't do something. I always wanted to challenge him and make him feel like he could accomplish anything. And that's always been what I've wanted for Aaron. So the pivotal scene for me at the wedding was when one of the bridesmaids was giving her speech. She revealed a secret list. The list was called All the Ways Warren Has Tried to Kill Aaron. It contained many bullet points and after a thorough examination, it was clear to me she was testing the survival of his species. Each item on the list became progressively more interesting more deadly. Downhill skiing? Really? You gotta be kidding me. The guy's blind. She's gonna send him down a mountain with skis. I don't know what that wife of his is thinking. How about cliff jumping? How does he know when he'll hit the water? And to make matters worse, he could land squarely on the back of a spiny dogfish. And that, my friends, would definitely hurt. The list included a total of 15 items, the last of which involved Lauren giving her keys to Aaron and letting him drive the Jeep. That's when we knew she was perfect for him. Adam, do you remember the list from the wedding? Yeah. Well, is there anything you want to say about the list or about your brother's marriage to Lauren in general? Um, no, not really. Okay, cut. Do you really want to know what I actually think about Aaron? I mean, we are neighbors, so I do know quite a lot. <laughs> but I don't know how I feel about saying that on camera. No, no, go ahead. We want to know everything. Pretend the camera isn't there. Y you really want me to be that candid? Yeah, definitely. You can give us an insight into the true man, away from the bright lights and paparazzi. Who is the real Aaron Vanuk? Well, he's a jerk. One of the items on the list was the day that she brought me to North Haven CrossFit. So I've been CrossFitting for about eight years. It's a really big part of my life. I actually even got to compete in regionals. That's how important it is to me. And I was trying to explain to Aaron what CrossFit was all about, just how important it was to me. But just explain to him didn't seem to be getting through to him. He just did not get it. 
So I thought, why not bring him right here to the gym and show him what CrossFit was all about. So my beautiful wife said she was going to take me through this simple and basic workout. Now I used to be an elite athlete before I lost my eyesight, so I was pretty confident that I could handle this CrossFit thing. Aaron was clueless about what he was about to do. First thing I noticed was the sound. I felt like I was in someone's garage in this huge open space. I heard my wife warming up in the corner and then I heard this huge crash. I felt the vibrations come right up my cane. I just couldn't believe that she could just pick up a barbell, lift it up over her head and drop it on the floor and that was okay to do. He almost jumped out of his shoes. Sorry, honey. That's when I knew this CrossFit thing was a bit different than the gyms I was used to. So after that, I thought, I better ease him in. Let's just take him through a round of burpees and some modified wall balls. A what? A burpee? That's random. They're a seed distributor. They sell vegetable seeds, flower seeds. You know, like zinnia, marigolds. And... So the burpee is the most basic CrossFit movement you can do. Just involves your own body weight. Does require a little flexibility. A lot of endurance, if you're doing a lot of them. And a little bit of strength, because you have to push yourself off the floor and jump up and clap your hands over your head. start with the burpees. Then after about five, I'm not sure what happened, but he just laid there on the floor, motionless. Aaron's really nice when he talks to me, but the keywords there are when he talks to me. He's really good at tricking me into thinking that he's like this great, really fun, nice, friendly guy and that like his wife is so lucky and you know like I wish I had a guy like that but then he does this like complete 360 on me. It's like like Two-Face from Batman. You know, he just flips a coin and like oh I guess I'll be a jerk now. Like it's really freaking rude and it's actually really scary how rude he can be. I love my wife, but ooh, I thought I was going to die. I thought for sure she was going to kill me this time. There was sweat pouring out of me, my whole body was shaking, my lungs were on fire. <sighs> I needed to find my water bottle. That's when I had to explain to Aaron that you don't stop in CrossFit. You keep moving until the coach yells, time. There's no water breaks. You get yelled at when you drink water. Sorry again, honey. She moved my water bottle so I couldn't find it. Can you believe that? Isn't that some form of torture or something? Yep, that's when I realized that CrossFit was definitely going to make the list at our wedding. With no water and no rest, if I had to do one more burpee, I wouldn't be blind anymore because soon I would be seeing Jesus. Now it's time for the wall balls. Sorry again, honey. Wall ball? I don't think that's a thing. Yeah, no. So to do a wall ball, women will take a 14 pound ball and men will take a 20 pound ball. And holding the ball in front of your chest, you squat down with it. And then as you're coming up, you throw the ball at a 10 foot target above your head. And then as the ball's coming back down, you catch it and go back down into a squat.
seriously, he's like the meanest man I've ever met. He has some serious issues. Like I've considered moving so many times just to get away from him and his madness. Okay, don't hold back. Tell us how you really feel. I mean, I can, but you're gonna be really disturbed by it, okay? Like, don't say I didn't warn you. Sometimes when I smile and wave at him, he just completely ignores me. And then there was this one time where I was in his way, apparently, and he just walks right into me, like I wasn't even there, okay? And then he like almost completely knocks me over, and then he has the nerve to apologize. See what I mean? Two-Face. And sometimes when he talks to me, it's like he's not really looking at me. He just doesn't care about other people. That's the problem. So Aaron's gonna be doing a modified wall ball. It's called a wall ball thruster. This way, when he goes down to a squat with a ball ball and he stands up, he doesn't throw it. He just holds it in his hands, never letting go. I like this one. Much easier than burpees. I was ready to go. So when Aaron did his first wall ball thruster, things didn't exactly go as planned. My hands were all sweaty from doing those burpees, and since I didn't have any time to rest or get any water, when I came up into the thruster position, the ball slipped out of his hands, it flew up into the air. <sighs> Suddenly, there was this 20 pound ball up there in the air somewhere, and one thing for sure, it was gonna come back down. I thought, oh my God, the ball's gonna come down. It's gonna hit Aaron in the head, give him a concussion, or it's gonna hit him in the face, blood's gonna go flying everywhere from his nose, he's gonna lose a tooth. All I know is I was thinking, this is it. I think I've really actually possibly killed my husband this time. I felt where the ball slipped out of my hands, so I had a mental image of its trajectory. In the seconds that I had, I moved my head back just slightly and I felt the ball graze my nose, land between my feet with a thud, and all was good. <sighs> I was so relieved. My heart was pounding for a really long time after that one. And the best part was, my wife was so freaked out that I was able to end my first CrossFit workout early. So you see what I mean? How much more rude could he possibly get? <sighs> Miranda, are you aware that Aaron is blind? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Nice try, Director Mark. <laughs> he has eyeballs. I've seen them. Blind people don't have eyeballs. You need to stop making excuses for him. Okay, we all just need to come to grips with the fact that he is a rude, selfish creep who it completely ignores people, walks right into them. Aaron just continues to amaze us. That workout we did was nuts. I thought someone was gonna get killed. And I was so pooped and sweaty. Not even the strongest of aquatic life could have survived that workout. We were swimming uphill and against the current the entire way. I think I need a new headband to increase my exercise efficiency. So I survived to live another day. And believe it or not, I'm actually at CrossFit now all the time. Not for working out, are you kidding? I actually have an office here for Blind River Studios right in this building. And Darren and I have done a few competitions. We've done the Swole Mates at CrossFit Brickyard. He almost didn't show up for that one, but thankfully he did because he actually helped win us the most spirited award. And then we did the Christmas Throwdown here at North Haven CrossFit, where again, we won some version of most inspirational. So all this, these competitions, CrossFitting with, with my husband has been really awesome. Adam, you excited? Yeah. Well, what do you think of your big brother's CrossFit accomplishments? Awesome. Okay. Anything else you want to say or elaborate on? We're at the end of the video, so any final words to close it out? Um, no, not really. Okay, cut. You know, he, I, I, I now understand why he wears sunglasses sometimes at night. Okay, he's probably a vampire. 
I can totally see that. Like you just creeping around at night in actually I don't know that I've ever seen him in the daylight. Thank you for watching this episode. If you want to learn more about me and my team of visionaries, you can follow us on our social media pages, visit us on our website, read our monthly blog, and sign up for our monthly newsletter. And I can't wait to find out how my wife plans to kill me next. Oh, whoa, thank you. Oh, oh. Watermelon, cucumbers, tomatoes. And, and if I ever see him floating around outside my window, I have holy water, a cross, and garlic all at the ready, and I will kick his vampire ass! <laughs>